everyone. Okay, that looks okay. I got that. Got that. Ooh, can we get another? ready Okay, so today we're going to be doing a game where we spin wheels to figure out what instruments and things to use for arranging. It's going to be completely random, and that's hopefully going to give us very weird, funny results. Have to work harder, can't just uh, go on autopilot to arrange. A lot of uh, newer arrangers at least will automatically just you know melody is going to go in the highest instruments I have an idea of how they're going to stack out the harmonies um, and that's fine that's how you should be doing things at first because you need to build those skills and build the um, the knowledge of how to use which things where to put certain instruments um, you have to learn your ranges so you want to get used to that early on but for me, because I've been doing this for about 10 years, I'm actually going to be having a little more fun with it today. Um, give me a second here, it's giving me some... Uh, so, yeah, I've got a bunch of instruments, uh, pretty much all the standard band and orchestral instruments I'll be using. Um, not using piano because we're going to base it on piano music today, so it would be a little cheating to have the piano option available. Um, but we will have other instruments, and we have uh, a couple percussion instruments, bell, xylophone, vibraphone, marimba, timpani. Um, to give color, flavor, to, you know, mix things up a little bit. <laughs> so we'll see how those go. Okay. But I do want to start off easier to get into this. So I think just for the beginning... While we're getting all this figured out, I'm going to make this very easy by doing easier instruments first. So I'm going to take the percussion off. Uh, I'll take off all the extended range instruments that you don't normally see, or that aren't very common at least. Um, Yeah, that should be good. Flute, clarinet, saxophones, oboe, trumpet, horn, trombone, tuba, and standard string instruments. So those will be the first choices for spinning. And for song, let's go with something pretty standard. Um, let's just do... Mary Had a Little Lamb. Everyone knows that. Just get an idea of how this is going to work. Uh, can I lower the spin time too? Please. 
and we don't need sound, so let's save that too. Okay. So we're going to have a double bass. <laughs> A second double bass. Okay, <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> we'll do um, we'll do f f four instruments total. Oh, a trombone. <laughs> okay. Uh, so far so good, I guess. And then number four. <laughs> okay, a tenor sax. All right, so that is quite an instrumentation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> For the mixed quartet. Oh. This is going to be interesting. Uh, <laughs> instruments okay choose <laughs> so we have a tenor sax we have a trombone and we have <laughs> two double basses and we'll make them both bowed um <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, key signature. I think I'm going to go with F concert as the key signature. Um, I'll explain why in just a second. Um, we won't need that many. Let's do like 16 measures. Tempo will make it about 90 beats per minute, should be fine. Oh no, this is horrible already. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, so I wanted a key signature that would work well for trombone and tenor sax. Uh, generally flats are better than sharps, but saxophones can handle a couple sharps. And the basses are probably comfortable with one flat, so we will be good there as well, I think. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I guess I'll have to put the melody in tenor sax to start, so. Let's do this. So we have a melody. I think for 
the second phrase, we'll do two phrases total. I think for the second phrase, we'll put the melody in the basses. <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go. And that should be pretty standard. Um, we're not taking any risks here, but this is also the test run to get an idea of how this is going to go. <laughs> so we'll see about making the, uh, oh, we'll see about making the next piece a little bit crazier. <laughs> Let me think. Hmm. Okay, A trombone, we could do a harmony and then just put the bass line in both bases, but that'll make it a bit bass heavy. Now these are upright bases, so if they're not being amplified, they're actually not going to be terribly loud. Um, we could double up the bases to give that extra um, volume. Maybe. Um, let's think about it. The other thing we could do is obviously to VC the bases. In that case I'd probably have two take the bass line and one playing a harmony. Um, we can try both actually. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? I went completely crazy and wrote that in the wrong key. That's fine. Not everyone's perfect. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. Okay, there has to be a faster way to do this. that there is So imprecise. That's okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, my goodness. Now let's copy and paste. <laughs> okay. That'll be funny. So now we have...
Okay. Let's try that. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, not bad. I'm gonna take the whole tenor sax melody up an octave though, because I can play that high, and we're in need of a bit more high register. Okay, here. Let's see, we're going to do very standard accompaniment style, where really what you do is like boom chucking. This annoying. This program, I swear. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's not great. It's arguably one of the lazier ways to write accompaniment, but we're not going for an award here. We're just trying to get something that sounds tolerable. <laughs> uh, let's try this. And let's give this dynamics too, so it stops hurting the ears so much. That's fine for now. We're not really making anything great, like I said, so as long as it works, I'm not going to be too mad. And I'm also not really paying attention to filling out the notes of the chord, J 
just yet. Jesus, it's so freaking loud! I'm um, not paying attention to filling out the notes of the chord yet, but my ear's gonna kind of do that naturally. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm putting the first contrabass on the fifth and the trombone on the third, because the contrabass is actually an octave lower. It's gonna be down here, creating really nice harmonic movement between the two voices. It'll have really open intervals and it'll keep the entire thing from sounding really clustered. Um, I could show you what it would sound like if the whole thing was down an octave. It would honestly sound really muddled, um, but let's do it for fun. So instead of having it be all down there, we're opening it like this. There we go. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Now, finish out the phrase. We're going to copy these two measures exactly. But we did put a D down here. So let's actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's, um, hmm. Maybe we'll put the trombone on an F. Oh. Okay. Can you just move? <laughs> I'll, I'll try and get used to these um, mouse clicking motions. Very, very different. Oh. Oh, and we're going to put this on D. This is a very simple arrangement, so we're not going to put in too many things like sevenths in the chords. Uh, we're not going to put in too many weird harmonic issues. This is more like an elementary or middle school level player expecting to play these so okay another thing that I'm going to change really quickly because it's annoying me here and there the two bases double it's not much of an issue up until here. I really just don't want that note doubled. Maybe we'll actually make that a half note. All right, so let's try it again. Okay. I like that. And what I've done here for the cadence, I've put um, one, six, four, five, one, which is very standard. I might actually do one, six, two, second inversion, two, 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 five, one, because that's also a classic. Um, 
I don't know how I feel about the two in the first inversion. Sorry, uh, I don't know how I feel about the two chord because I like the four motion. I like having a strong four going to a one, but that implied two makes it really juicy. So eh, we may do that. It's tempting, and we have plenty of time. Another. Uh, actually, we're right there, so we don't have time. <laughs> Let's decide. Um, actually, also, while I'm thinking about it, think about where these lines are going. I think the bases are going to stay on the... Ooh, and then we could do something really fun and... Okay, bass harmonics. We could do harmonics on that last note. If I could remember good harmonics. Eh. Just, we'll make it like this, I think. I think that'll be fun. it on a closed chord. I gotta be boring, I know. Okay. So that's where it's going. It's nice to know your destination if you like to write that way. Um, so I'll plug the very end in so I know how I'd, I need to get there. So the tenor sax and trombone are going to have to be going to these notes. I don't want to take them too low. Because I personally, again, I like good voice leading. I don't like jumping around. I think it's nonsense. But that's just me. You can do it differently. So, okay. And we're also going to make this forte. Because it's the second time. Okay. Ooh. I think we are going to go with the inverted too. It's more boring, but. No, because we got the two in the melody. Yeah, so it's already there. So let's do. We're going to do um, parallel motion here between the upper voices so the chord feels like it's moving together. Try that, see how that sounds. crescendo as well as you to really lead into that melody hmm. be 
section, what to do. I think we'll have it be really light on top. Eighth notes and staccato. Because we want to counterbalance how heavy it's going to sound on the bottom and make it stand out. Why use the basses if you're not going to feature them? If you're going to bury them. It's the right motion, it's not the right notes. Uh, oh my god, you can't click anywhere with this program. <laughs> meant to sound beautiful yet. Dynamics, there we go. Mm, that's a piano. It's like, what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Please, please. for a tenor sax. Too crazy, not too crazy. Steal these harmonies. 
seal them completely. What is this? Why am I playing this game with a robot? See how this sounds. some fun things. Add a little bit of character here and there. These notes right here, I think that'll sound better. Um, and the F's there. And then View that. View that. All this is unnecessary, but why not? Baseline. Yeah. Yeah. Do uh nope. This excuse me. There we go. Mm -hmm. The uh, legato markings indicate no breaks, so the bowing is going to fall in between, as well as the breathing on the wind instruments. That's going to be nice. Uh, all right, let's try with this. Oh, and I want to put a decrescendo here in these two parts so the contrabass comes forward. Um, it's tough 
because <laughs> what are you going to do with these instruments? But we have a product. Um, I'm going to leave it alone. I don't really want to <laughs> overwork this because it is, after all, not a real piece. We're going to call it Mary had a an arranged lamp. That's funny. Mary had an arranged lamp. Okay. <sighs> Enough of that. Let's do something a little more real and do an actual piece of piano music. Mm -hmm. hmm. Probably Mozart. By genre, please. Genre. Um, piano music, solo piano works. Uh, we could do one of his easy sonatas. Um, maybe. Uh, there has to be something easier. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Uh, <gasps> is this? No. That's not what I want. No. Is it number five that I'm thinking of? Let me see the score. We could do this one. And for right now, our goal would be to get up to measure 22, because I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, we'll probably change the key signature, which you're allowed to do in arranging, so I don't want to hear any haters. <laughs> what else? Oh, I need to change the name of this. What am I doing? Uh, Really? Your next piece. It's nice. It's very, um, it's very nice. It's very readable. It's not something that is, um, like, um, uh, what am I, who am I thinking of? Chopin. I was just flipping through my, um, my old piano book and one of the very big pieces at the end was his, um, Fantasy chrom Chromatique. I think that's, I think that's what I'm thinking of. Fantasy Chromatique impromptu that's the one and i was just looking at it and i was like uh absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not arranging stream let me get this renamed really quick um yeah this is a very great a great lesson piece um i've seen it performed on recitals too I, i'm not sure when we were in school if someone played it but I've definitely heard it in concert hall settings. I was like, oh, that's nice. Um, ranging streams. Um, uh, random game? I don't know. Spinning a wheel to determine what instruments to use in urban save all okay, right streams renamed yeah that's really funny too that this is the exact piece <laughs> that you're working on okay let's add in all the rest of the instruments can we clear uh, reset counts and put them all back in the game how many instruments do you think for this? Maybe six players? Six, six too many? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six might be too many. Hmm. 
I'd like at least one melody, three harmony at all times. Let's see what goes on. Oh, we may want, so that's at least four, five, Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with six to be safe. Because there's flexibility there. Use this piece quite often. I think the one that we used did as well. Because um, the melody sticks out, and this is very classic chord structure and uh, left hand writing. Oh, it's very Mozart, too, of course. Um, Those octaves are funny. All right. Yeah, let's go with six. So here we go. First, we <laughs> No! 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 I don't think I can do this. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see what's next. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> now it's just taunting me. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> We could do this. We have two instruments that make sounds. <laughs> well, they all make sounds. Two that can play pitches. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. I can work with this. I can work with it. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. I'm glad we went for six. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, new document. Uh, Mozart Sonata number five. Oh, two bass drums. <laughs> Awful. Oh. Mixed sextet. Oh, no. Choose instruments. <laughs> I got an oboe, a clarinet, uh, a euphonium. Um. We'll put it on this line for now. Tuba. No, we have a, no tuba. Double bass, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Unpitched percussion. <laughs> this is going to be a mess. This is going to be a huge mess. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll put it in G for now. <laughs> it's probably gonna go to something else, and I think it's in three, four. Oh, not you, please. Um, this one, G in three, four, and it has a pickup of one beat. Okay, we'll put at least twenty-two measures. We could add more. Um, tempo. 
Probably 108 will work. Oh no. This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two concert bass drums. <laughs> uh, oh, now I need a second to recover. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, I can do this. Okay, first up, melody. Classic would be to put it in the clarinet. It is Mozart. Um, we could do clarinet and then echo by the oboe. I love that. Okay, let's do this. Oh. <sighs> don't even know what we're going to do with these bass drums. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> oh. That's going to get me all day. Okay. Enough horsing around. This is serious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can do that. Can we zoom in a little? Yes. Okay. Um, please go back over here. Oh, and I was going to put this in the clarinet. Let's go concert pitch to do that. Enter notes, please. is gone. View palettes. Okay. There we go. Dynamic. We'll make it piano. Doing this a very complicated way. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Ah! <sighs> I need to stop trying to force it. The more I try and force it, the more it's going to fight me. little conversation maybe those bass drums can play the half notes in the left hand part I do really like that I do like that uh, make much more use of them so that way they're not just um, <laughs> doing nothing and F9 is the keyboard shortcut to open and close the palette and F8 does something <gasps> F8 does inspect okay and F10 is the mixer. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. 
will get used to this. It won't blow up in my face. <laughs> All right, contrabass. Let's do that part next. Get the root. So that is a G. A. And then an F sharp. And then a G again. Actually, what we're going to do is this. There we go. Oh, and I guess I should give you a dynamic. Oh, F9. Dynamic piano, please. Hmm. We may change the key to F for playability. That'll help the clarinet, that'll help the trombone most. The oboe will be fine, the bass loves sharps. Okay. <laughs> and let's do the... Oh no, this is gonna be... Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh. Why isn't it letting me put notes in? Go back here. See how this sounds. <laughs> We're gonna do pianissimo, <laughs> just in case. Oh, not terribly upset. Considering the circumstances. <laughs> Let's make this a little bit louder, too. Oh, that's so loud. Oh, you know why it's so loud? Because you have decided to put yourself full volume again, system sounds. Not having that. Okay. Here and let's get set up. I think we're gonna keep the melody and the oboe for this phrase and then give the clarinet the sixteenth, maybe. It's annoying me. Okay. There we go. That's better. That feels very clarinetty. Oh, oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Two bass drums. I'm not gonna get over that. I can already feel it's just going to. Oh, no, don't do that.
and we're going to add in notes here and there to help. Oh, let's try this. These are supposed to be eighth notes. What am I doing? Yeah, that's good. Okay. You are an eighth note as well. going to use the um, what am I trying to say the contrabass for these these two chords oh what if we do this Trombone sound. Staff part properties. Uh, uh, uh. Change instrument. Brass. Tuba. Part name Dephonium, though. Try that. Better needs a dynamic piano. No, we need to put the eighth notes in. Then the dynamic will be up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So loud. So loud. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh, that's kind of fun. you I also don't know what I'm trying to do there we go not bad copy paste 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 oh please be quieter Let's hear it. Hmm. 
could be worse. If you go to change instruments and select all instruments instead of common instruments, you may get the euphonium. Let's do it. Staff part properties. Change all instruments. Why is it hiding these from me? What do you have to hide, Muse Score? Oh, look at that. Look at all these. <laughs> They're like, maybe that's a little too many. <laughs> there we go, Euphonium. Apply. Ha ha. See how that sounds. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Thank you for yet another Muse score tip because um, I don't think they're going to ever be in short supply. <laughs> I don't think, or what's what's the word? I don't think I will ever not need tips on this program. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we can go there. Can we get you scrunched a little bit more? Uh, not terribly much. Let's just get a PDF. There. All right, we've got that measure. Oh, and they want Forte Pianos. We're gonna simulate Forte Pianos by putting accents on these because I don't want to overpower it. And we're trying to be delicate under the oboe right now. So that's an articulation. And an accent is basically just a small forte piano anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I guess we will just do oh, space bar. Good to know. sometimes I'm just trying to do that and then the clarinet sold on this I think because we don't use the contrabass much we're gonna do this instead and the contrabass can actually play this high um, it's not often used that high though f9 dynamic forte um, I'm not sold on that though. I think we're going to put the forte here. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Make sure you play those rest of forte. And I think we're going to do a crescendo here instead. Mm -hmm. Because why not? Put 
this here, do you think? How does that sound? I don't like the doubling in the same octave though, so let's do that. That's going to give a little bit more power. Maybe I have a little Muse score session where I can show you some more tips and pointers. I do like that actually. Um, do a whole bit where it's basically just a Muse score tutorial. Because <laughs> um, I am completely horrible at using this program, but um, once I figure out something, like I can now remember the F9 to get the palette going, I just have to know it and I don't know any of it. And reading through the manual does not help at all. I just, it looks like a block of text to me. I don't know. And we're gonna do that too. Let's try this. And that has really nice voice leading, except for the bass. <laughs> yeah. Um, Muse score session. We should do that. We should do that next week sometime, maybe. Ooh, can we do? Is that the only note I have? Is that what that's telling me? I guess so, but we're going to cheat it and put an articulation. Maybe they'll have it. Maybe we have to do it like this. Because what we are going to do is. Oh, next week sounds good. Probably in the evening. Yes, definitely an evening for me as well. So that works just fine. Um, Thursdays, I, for the foreseeable future at least, have things in the evenings, but I'm going to try and be on probably every, every evening. I'll try and do something, um, even if it's only for a little bit. Oh. There we go. Turn that off. Let's see what this sounds like. didn't sound like what I wanted it to sound like, but I'm not sure that it will have that option. Let's see if there's anything. Uh, roll, please. Tremolo, no, no. Volume swell, no. Um, lines? Mm. No. Nothing there. Roll. Where would a roll be? Text, 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 bar lines, lines, text. Articulations? No, we already tried that. Text. I'm going to double check under lines again. Sustain, trill. Hmm. I think we may just have to do it as a trill. A lot of um, a lot of percussion parts label their uh, rolls as trills anyway. Okay. They'll know what it means, and you need a dynamic level. So loud. So funny. Uh, 
Oh, and we haven't even used the second base drum. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with two of them. <laughs> Basic edited, change that to advanced edited. Advanced. Oh, that's a lot more buttons. That's a lot more buttons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why have I been using basic? <laughs> faster one? Yes. <laughs> Mozart is not happy. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> We're gonna do it on both of them. <laughs> oh no. 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 <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and we're going to put him in stereo. No, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> okay. Stay at 100, please. Uh, one on the left, one on the right. Oh, no. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <sighs> I hate that. It's so bad. <laughs> Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, no. Okay. Oh, come back. Oh. Okay. That looks good. Oh, close this. Oh. This is too much. I think we're just gonna alternate the uh, alternate the two drums. <laughs> uh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. There we go. Let's see if we can put you here. This is honestly kind of tolerable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need to move on. Oh no. Clarinet. Oh, something. Something's probably messed up. Okay. Clarinet. You get. And 
for the sake of the clarinet player, let's do this. Give that a nice big line. Oh, look at all these fancy symbols. Okay. And I think I might do this. instead just for this last bit here maybe let's try that The oboe taking over that last bit because this is right where the clarinet break happens and having the clarinet do too much over the break it just seems like a lot of um, a lot of torture I don't want to put them through yet because I'm pretty sure the piece picks up later on yeah so we don't want to we don't want to break their neck in the first 10 measures honestly given the instrumentation yeah it is probably as good as we're gonna get <laughs> Click the first and last note of the passage and it will select the group of notes. Yes. Ooh. Click. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I think I just need to practice that, really. Practice. <laughs> oh. Okay, what's next? Quarter note here. Uh, and it is an E, come back, and then this one is a G. Can we do quarters here? Yes, okay. Enter. Might just double this. Maybe down an octave? Let's try that. but you cannot hear the clarinet loud enough. Let's make sure the dynamic is right. Forte, please. And then the oboe as well. Forte. Okay. Let's go back to here. I think it's okay. <laughs> I don't think it's a nightmare. It could be very easily. And then the phrase repeats 
But it goes down the octave. You know what we're going to do? We're going to give the euphonium the melody. Okay, let's go full screen for a second. put it there down the octave clarinet you are keeping your part entirely um, but this phrase we're actually going to move down the octave and then here this is going into the contrabass down the octave and then the oboe picks up its part here again And then the euphonium and the contrabass and the bass drums. <laughs> Both bass drums. Come back in here. Oh, and we're going to have the bass drums hit on these, obviously. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Did something. Oh, that's what I did. And dynamics here. Actually, just for these two. How does it go back to? Piano? I guess for a pianoforte, it probably makes more sense. <laughs> and then you also come in at piano. And then you come in at piano. Okay. this and then we're going to do that oh we don't have to we we can just leave that where it is it's fine We're gonna do this, but can we make it just a half note? Okay, let's see if I can. Uh, how to make this happen? I want this. No. Hmm. 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 No, I think I just have to do it manually. I'm too lazy for this. Okay. Okay. Make it a rest. And then I need to delete these. And we need to make this a half note. And we need to add this to it. Tremolo. Did we do three before? And then we'll add a line to it as well. And we will add a dynamic to it as well, which is piano. And then we have to add a crescendo. Oh. Add a crescendo. And then we'll add this as a forte. 
and that should sound like something. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Uh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't like there being such a big gap here, so we're gonna do that. All right, one more time. Hmm. that uh no i did not that's fine um It's playable. <laughs> it's about all I can ask for. Oh. Okay. Um <laughs> let's do the next phrase. <laughs> let's just keep going. It's not going to get any better. <laughs> I do really like the 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 um the euphonium echoing the melody. I think that is a very nice touch. Cuz normally people would just put the clarinet there, but I want the clarinet to use its full range and versatility. It can be a harmony instrument. It can be the 16th, it can be the melody, you know, it's got everything. <laughs> oh. Okay. And I'm going to make this a half note. Yeah. Uh, not much, not much else can save this. I think it was doomed right at the start, like when it was trolling me, like you said. <laughs> I think that was the death knell. <laughs> cool. Okay. And this is going to have to be the woodwinds up at the top and the euphonium. Ooh. And do we just have the bass drum thumping out the eighth notes? Or is that too predictable? <laughs> or should they do a slow roll over the whole thing? That might be really funny. I think that might be what we do. 
I think that might be what we do. I think it's going to be a roll. Oh, no. <laughs> I think this is a disaster already. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> this is a good idea. I'm really glad it worked. Oh, and let's do, um... Let's do that. Before I forget that, too. Okay. No, I want it to be an eighth note. There we go. Okay. Let's just... The oboe can get that eighth note passage, and they'd be able to do all that no problem. Why not have it jump around? I don't know. Might change it later. But we need to get these, these done. All right. Oh, and there's no, uh, there's no stinger here. That's less fun, but. Oh. oh, go down, please. Dynamic forte, and then line at the crescendo. Okay, and eighth notes. No. Can I get this there? Alright, that's over here. Yeah, that's gonna be clarinet. Maybe there's a whole thing on clarinet. Oh, and leave the oboe out to tacit until this line. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Entry. Oh, and sixteenths. And it's a quarter. Sorry.
acceptable. not thirds because I can't read <laughs> oh no just so it's thirds going up seconds going down okay wrong notes do, do, do. drums <laughs> oh no <sighs> and anything fun this isn't half bad. This is not half bad. <laughs> um, oh, 
Oh, those are dots. Weird. Interesting. Okay. Oh, don't. Please don't put dots on that. <laughs> okay. And put a tie instead of a slur here. Um. a slur, right? Let's just get rid of them both. Redo it. <laughs> okay. Up there. Up there. I mean, what are you going to do with two concert bass drums? Talk about insanity. Drum two to here, please. Copy, paste. Okay, good. And then, can we copy just this Put it here? Once so we can do that. No! Ah! And this is going to be dynamic Benissimo up to dynamic Forte. This is going to be dynamic Pianissimo as well. And then you all the way through here all get the tremolo and then close you to here we're gonna do a crescendo <laughs> um crescendo uh, dynamic Um, and what dynamic does it want this to start at? It doesn't specify, so we're going to do like a um, piano. Uh, 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 uh. All right. That's something. <laughs> I want to do that part again. <laughs> oh, that's why that's all weird. I don't know. 
I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. Uh, <laughs> what else do you do? <laughs> Control V to pen pressures, yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. I. Oh. One more time. <laughs> shock already uh. <laughs> I don't know oh. okay <laughs> oh. oh okay um and then this is Classic clarinet line. And all A's, yes, okay. And in the interest of making fun, weird textures, we are going to double a lot of this in the base. Maybe. No, never mind. I'll leave it alone. I might, I might add it back to the base, maybe. Oh. oh, I'm still stuck on those bass drums. I think Mozart's intention was to do this, 
but it's a piano, so you can't do the same things as winds, obviously. So we're just going to connect the whole phrase. I like the extra octave in the oboe just for power and emphasis, and it's not too loud, so it's not going to um, stand out. It'll sound a bit more like an overtone, if anything. Um, I mean... Oof! Oof! Okay. the bass drums out for a bit. Um, don't want to don't want to give them too much to do. <laughs> um, and it's almost 10. Keep track of the time here. Put it in eighth rest.
here. Lines, that's what we want. one changes. Uh, please stop doing that. It just How are these beamed? Measure by measure up until the last. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That might be hard for the clarinet to do. Maybe. No, it'll be easy because we're transposing it. That's right. Um, uh, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm going to leave it alone. 
Yeah, now, see, now it's better. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Okay, whole thing. down to D Please. Oh my God. There we go. There we go. And these are staccato markings.
I'm going to take a break for a second because my eyes are starting to hurt a bit. Just like a minute break here, but I'll listen to it while... Put an A up here as well. Uh... 
these are paired, yes, yes. So you, you, you. That's so right. What would perfectly punctuate all of those nice little hits here? Actually, just do quarter notes. Uh huh. Start back here, actually. I think we'll we'll do it in both for surround sound. <laughs> split the 16th up here. No real reason to do it, but just because, I guess. It'll be a little more conversational that way. And we need to do a chord here. E a G. Okay. And you need a forte marking because you have not gotten a dynamic in a while. Okay. Uh. 
let's hear it. <laughs> That's kind of fun. And then here, I need to put. That's an A. change things up a little here and put in new notes. Yeah, I like that. It's not too low, so it's not technically ruining the timbre of the piece or anything. Uh, give you a piano dynamic. Actually, uh, could you not? <laughs> I'll give it a nice little decrescendo too. it into that and then Mozart when he wrote grace notes he generally meant for them to be played like sixteenths unless I'm going crazy Mozart grace notes old way of writing a 32nd note Yeah, I'm not going crazy. So did he do the short? No, he did the 16th version without the slash through it, it looks like. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, and write it out then because we know what we're doing. That's not bad. And then this phrase repeats. From here. Let's 
see if there are any major changes. I don't see anything. Okay. Oh my god! And then the left hand part changes down here, so we have to do that. How are we going to handle this? Oh, I'll get to that in a second. And it's the same for that measure. Same for that measure. And then the chords are the same. Okay. So let's do here to here to here. Oh. Can we do Aethris? Is this cheating? Uh, I think so. Honestly, And then this one, the D is implied, so we're going to leave it out on this go round. But. Huh. Huh. I don't like that E. I don't like it. So we might take it out. We'll see. We'll see what it sounds like. this really quick. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, let's hear this with and without. No, I like it better with. Maybe we do it up here too.
maybe. Let's try it. It you. Uh, it's not worth the effort of a two, an octave and a half jump. <laughs> this is this is easier to justify, but. Another thing I want to do, this is going to be controversial. We're going to fill in some dead space. Uh, dynamic. We'll make it piano this time. Let's see how bad this sounds. <laughs> Too bad. Um, uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. I do really want to get through at least the beginning of the A section. I know I'm not going to get through the whole thing, obviously, but <laughs> kind of want to do <laughs> this movement <laughs> with a different instrumentation. <laughs> and then is there a third one? Yeah. And do the trio with a different, <laughs> or the, not the trio, the, um, this is probably a rondo. Um, Oh, it might not be actually. That's kind of funny. Do each movement with a different instrumentation. Change up <laughs> the six instruments being used. I don't know if I will. Um, 
that would be for another day anyway. But at least the first half of this, how much? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We can do 11 more measures. Then I should probably call it a night. Um, we can get through this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then, do you get a repeat sign? What's that? Repeat? Okay. This is kind of horrifying that this is not a complete train wreck. <laughs> and we just want this. We'll get to that in a second. I'm looking at the last line, seeing where I want to go with this. It's going to be the oboe, the clarinet, the euphonium, and probably the bass on the left hand, which means I'll need to leave out. Oh, I know what notes I'm going to leave out. I'm going to do the classic Mozart and do the fourth to third and the seventh to eight. I'll just put that in now. Classic, classic. Gets all the important notes. Because the euphonium is going to be doing the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It's going to need a tie for this, or a slur. Uh, uh. I mean, talk about a worse part to play. <laughs> but it's going to echo what the oboe is doing up here, so it's fine. They'll live. <laughs> go. I'll just go ahead and put that in now. So I have the rhythm. Oh. Uh, something got messed up, probably. I don't know. Well, we don't need you. Eh. Oh, no. No, no. It needs to be there. Yeah. 
I mean, not much else you can do. Not much else you can do. You actually go up here. Clarinet, what were you just doing? You were doing nothing. Okay. What was something was weird over here I wanted to fix really quick. Oh this. Alright. And we can take out these dynamics because we don't need them. Oh, two concert bass drums. this measure, okay. here. Mm. 
We're going to do something funny here. Uh, I'm going to put it in, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Uh, that's why. Okay, so what I've done over here, I don't, I don't even know what's going on with all these parts. Okay, <laughs> I thought they were being foolish. No, they're fine. Okay, so what I've done is the oboe was, or is I should say, the highest note here on the right hand and the clarinet is playing the second highest note and the euphonium is the left hand and I've gone ahead and kept that pretty standard why not there we go um, but I'm going to do is switch them here for this part. So. So the oboe is actually buried there. Um, and the clarinet gets the higher note. Not really sure why I'm doing it. Just to add fun and spice, I guess. Dynamics piano. <laughs> Now let's fix these pitches. F sharp G natural.
All right, let's try from back here. See how I like the melody spacing. <laughs> Yeah, I think the oboe is going to be better for that part, which is mainly what I was going for. And then these repeat, but at a forte. You're not a forte. Check it out. Yeah, I, th I think that's fine. And I'm going to double this down an octave. Add a little more weight. Because we are getting to the end here. can do the same thing in the clarinet. Okay, let's try this. counterplay here. So what is this? Why is it just clicking around? It's okay, we're almost done. Almost done. Oh. Let's try from here. Oh, 
<laughs> this is somehow not a complete train wreck. Alright, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we are going to do this, and make them forte, and I think we've got the bass drum parts figured out, so I'm going to leave them alone. And I think we have one more measure of oboe to put in, and I think we might be done. Oh! Classic. And we will make this slur. Okay, 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 okay. Go back here. Um, where's a good place to start? Oh, here. Let's go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do a playthrough. Let's see how it sounds. And I think we might call it an evening there because I need to eat. And I think this is about as good as we're going to get. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I do want to make one change really quick. I'm going to put this down here too. Not really a huge change. I think that'll give it a little bit of character. Uh, and we need to give it a dynamic. All right. I think that'll be nice. And I'm thinking about adding a bass drum part here. 
Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Bum, 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 bum. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do piano. I already know what you're thinking. But won't that get too loud? No, it will not, actually. It's going to be perfect. Okay. Uh, I want it to, I want it to do that. Okay, that's fine. And I put a crescendo here. I wanted a decrescendo, but I actually like the subido effect there. So we're going to leave it. All right. Final time. Here we go. <laughs> oh. chaos it's just chaos i uh yeah i'm gonna leave it i don't want to i don't want to touch too much of it because <laughs> oh I mean, what do you even do? What do you even do with this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's fun. <sighs> oh, I wish I had the ensemble to record this like right now. Oh, what a ridiculous, ridiculous combination of instruments. And it doesn't sound half bad. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how. <sighs> the double bass drum really killed me. <laughs> how, how troll, honestly, like you said, how troll. Um put it back in concert pitch. I, I need to do something about this key signature. I think I'm just going to move it to F. Um, Mozart Sonata in G in the key of F. <laughs> Unless it was played on A clarinet and then it would be fine. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna save this where it is and decide next time I work on it. Maybe next next week. Oh could do this game. I don't wanna do it too often, but I could do this game a lot. <laughs> Cause that was insane. <laughs> oh. So I think I will go ahead and call it there for the evening. Go eat some dinner. 
Um, probably be back tomorrow. We'll see. Um, tentative yes, though. And then I will definitely be back on Sunday. Oof. I mean, what kind of an evil wheel? <laughs> God. Oh. Clarinet, oboe, bass drum. Oh. Oh, I guess I have to leave it on B flat clarinet because that's the rules of the, the spinning wheel. Okay, I might change the key. I might just leave it in G. We'll see. And I have another wheel for possibly more spinning. Um, I was thinking maybe do a wheel for um, other kinds of restrictions. Like uh, you spin the wheel and if it lands on this space, then maybe all of the instruments have to play outside of the staff or something. I don't know. <laughs> Do something weird with it. We'll see. Oh, but I'll leave that there for now. Because it's... I don't think it's going to get better. <laughs> and I hope you all have a good evening. <laughs> this was fun. Take care.